Roll camera. Mark it. All right, let's talk about the theater for a minute. We look at the theater as the basic central nervous system to the Sneak on the Lot website. Let me tell you just briefly as an overview what I mean. We make movies so that people can watch them and enjoy them and review them and tear them apart and all that good stuff. We don't make them so our moms can watch them and go, oh, you did so good, sweetheart, right? We make movies for people to watch. So let's, let's jump into the theater real quick. Once you've logged in, go ahead and click the theater button. Now in the theater, you'll start to notice it looks a little different if you're logged in, right? You usually get this main big uh, featured show and then you get some new releases and then you get a couple of other you know shows down here that kind of are waiting for reviews and people to review them. But if you're logged in, if you keep scrolling, you'll notice that down here, you'll have five new rows of films that are just waiting for reviews. You know, and, and if there's, you can see, if there's one film in that section, it populates all the areas. So all of these are waiting. The, down at the bottom, this one here is, where it is waiting for five reviews. It doesn't have a single review. So after five reviews, the film will go live and go into this public area. We do this for a number of reasons, and I'll tell you why. Number one is we really want you guys to engage and understand um, how to leave great reviews. There'll be other videos talking about that in the editor course. <clears throat> so if we scroll up here and I show you how to upload a movie, you'll see what I'm talking about. So go ahead and click that upload movie. You'll see that there's your normal stuff, like what genre does the film belong in. You can attach a thumbnail to it. You know, I have this film over here that we've uploaded and it's waiting, it's pending. So you'll see down here a list of all the films you've uploaded that are waiting for reviews. And then you can put in the title and the synopsis. Now down here, this is what's really important. You have to add in the writer, producer, director, cinematographer, editor, and actors. And the reason we do that is because when you leave a review back in the theater, I come down to one of these films I haven't reviewed yet you'll notice that down here I have these sliders and I can rank in the review each one of these categories, right? Now, after I leave a review, a short title and a review, this review then goes into the pool. After the pool reaches five um, reviews, it goes live and points are awarded to all those that are involved. Um, so if I go back to here and I show you my profile, Many of you might have already seen the profile and wondered what this was at the very bottom, this heat and critic fame. So heat is your personal score as a director, as a writer, as a cinematographer, as an editor and a producer. These are, these are ranked by what people have said about you in your reviews of the films that you upload. Over here, the critic fame is based on what people thought of your review. Was it helpful or not? And you can't leave reviews on uh, films coming from your own school. Uh, this is done so to stop people from trying to game the system. So you can only leave reviews on films of people you don't know, which is uh, a great way of making sure that everything stays safe and uh, upright. Anyway, so that's the overview of the theater. Um, so get in there. I'm really looking forward to seeing what you guys upload and what you make. So get in there and upload your movies after you've got them done. And then go leave some reviews.